back and I'm back with another video and today if y'all cannot see from the title of the video I'm here with 20 facts about me so when I do upload this video it's going to be February 23rd and that is my birthday and I am turning 20 years old this year so since I'm turning 20 years old I decided to drop 20 facts about me so y'all can get to know me a little better but before we start I want to say this if you are not subscribed to my channel I would appreciate if you go down and hit that subscribe button because it's my birthday, you know, my, my birthday. It would be a nice birthday if I can hit a thousand subscribers. But with that being said, if y'all are new and y'all enjoy this video, go down, hit that subscribe button and show all your friends because we are on the road to 1K. And yeah, if you like my content, stay tuned because I'm telling you, we dropping bangers. 2021 is my year. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Also, before we start, if y'all want to see a Q&A or any type of video y'all want to see me do, just go down below in the comments and comment which I want me to see or if you have any Q&As that you want me to do so just go down and just blow up the comments you know so go crazy in the comments but yeah with that being said let's get started and starting with number one fact number one i am six one i am over six foot uh i'm like six two with shoes but yeah i am pretty tall i'm six one fact number two my dad is malaysian and my mom is taiwanese so that makes me malaysian and taiwanese so i'm mixed with two kinds of asians you know i'm kind of cultured but yeah, I'm Malaysian and Taiwanese. But yeah, a lot of people cannot guess that. People be, I've gotten Korean, I've gotten Chinese, I've gotten a whole bunch of other types of Asians. But yeah, it's very like unique when someone actually guesses right when I'm Malaysian and Taiwanese. But yeah, I'm Malaysian and Taiwanese. Fact number three, my birthday is February 23rd and I was born in 2001. Um, so I've been alive for 20 years and being born on February 23rd, I'm a Pisces, so Pisces gang. So if you're a Pisces, let me know down below in the comments. And you know, we Pisces gangs, gang, gang, we emotional, but we out here. Fact number four, my favorite color is yellow. I love yellow. Like I was saying, like I like this mustard, the yellow. This is probably my favorite kind of yellow. But yeah, my favorite color is yellow. Fact number five, back in the day, I used to be a multi-sport athlete. I used to play football and lacrosse. But yeah, I, I, I played football from, what would I say, yeah, sixth grade to senior year of high school. So that's about, I would say maybe six years of my, six, seven years of my math is right. And also for lacrosse, I only played two years. I played junior and senior year of high school. But yeah, I played two sports. Uh, fun fact, I could have went to go play college football, but I chose not to. That's another story time for later, but yeah, moving on. Fact number six, I was born in Georgia and I lived in Duluth my whole life until college. Uh, well, now basically. Uh, I grew up in the Duluth area. So if y'all know Duluth, Georgia, that's where I was from. I know everywhere from like my home to the city hall, to the high school, like that whole area, I, I, I grew up in that area. So I know everywhere in the area. And until recently, I recently moved to Kennesaw, Georgia for school and that's where I stay now. But yeah, I've lived in Georgia my whole life and we'll see what happens. We don't know what the future holds. I might live in another state. We, we'll see what happens. You know, I might even live in another country. You know, just I'll bring it along with the journey, but you know, it is what it is. We'll see what happens. Number seven, I have one older sister. Um, yeah, I, I, it was just me and her growing up. She's she's older. She's older by seven years. So when I'm 20, she's about she's turning 27 this year. And yeah, we have a it's a, it's a big gap. And if y'all want to see videos of me and her, let me know down below in the comments. And I will do my best to convince my sister to get in one of my videos. I don't know if she will, but you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see how good my convincing is. Fact number eight. I have around 24,000 followers on TikTok. Fun fact, if you guys did not know, I had a couple viral videos go, well, I would say my junior, senior year-ish of high school. So it's been about maybe three, almost three years, uh, maybe probably two, but it's been a while back when TikTok was like, oh, you got clowned on. You got made fun of if you were making TikToks. But now it's like all these half-naked girls on TikTok trying to get famous. And yeah, TikTok has changed a lot from where it has become so and that's why i'm not that active on it no more because like i'm sorry there's no way i can compete to a girl that's half naked showing her boobs and ass i, I can't compete to that i really can't but yeah i used i have 24k followers on tiktok so fact number nine i have never broken a bone so like throughout my 20 years of my life i have never broken a bone i have had injuries but i've never broken a bone like i think probably my worst injuries are probably my concussions i think i have maybe three concussions two or three but yeah probably my worst injuries were probably my concussions i had probably two or three um yeah they're probably off in football if my football players y'all know like we probably had concussions but we just didn't know or we just played through it like yeah and i also had bad knees i had tendonitis in my knees 
I sprained both my ankles, but I've never broken a bone, so I guess that's a good thing, you know? But yeah, I've never broken a bone, and hopefully it stays that way for the rest of my life, but only time will tell, and we'll see what happens. Fact number 10, my first job was at a bubble place. So if y'all are from the, like the Atlanta area, y'all probably know this bubble place called Sweet Hut. That is where I got my first job. I started working there at 16. I was a barista making boba drinks and all that stuff back in the day. Fact number 11, I have one tattoo, which is going to be right here. If, oh, if y'all can see it, it's, it's, it's right there. And I have my ears pierced. You know, I got my... I got my ears pierced, that's about it. I was thinking about getting my nose pierced, but I do not know, I'm very scared. I don't know how I look with it. It's very scaring, but we'll see, only time will tell. And I'll probably, I'm probably, I might get more tattoos. We'll see though, we'll see. Maybe if I hit a million subscribers, I'll get like what's wrong tattooed on me. But yeah, only time will tell, so we'll see what happens. Fact number two, this is probably gonna be a quick little story time. This is gonna be a quick little embarrassing story. And yeah, this is probably my most embarrassing story to be honest, but yeah. So if y'all went to Duluth High School, um, you, you will know the area, but I'm trying to do my best to explain what happened. So this story happened around my sophomore year of high school. So at my school, we had, so this is how our lunch started. We used to have like an hour lunch, but we had so many students, we had to cut that in half. So like the first half, would it would be like, you would sit in like a study hall kind of thing, sit like, see, it was called C25, where we had 25 minutes to like do our homework or um, chill or whatever. And then we would go to lunch, or we had the we had lunch first, and then we had the C25, the study hall after. So that year, I had the lunch first, and then we had the little study hall after. So me, it was me, and my teammate. We had the same study hall together. So we would eat lunch, go to our study hall, and then it was the lacrosse coach. And so it was. I think this was during the football season. Um, he let us go down to the field house to chill. So if y'all don't know what the field house is, that's basically where where the football players, the locker rooms, the coaches are, and all that stuff. He let us go down there to chill. So me and my teammate would go down. So and then, so at the loof, the field house was like at the bottom of the hill. It was like low key on the hill, and the field house was at the bottom of the hill. So there was some stairs down, and you know how like you had those rails that you could slide down on. That's what we had to the field house. But okay. So every day during that C25, I would slide down the rails and go to the field house. Everything, nothing happened, it was normal. But one day, I decided to do it and it ripped my pants. Like, it, it, it was bad. I was sliding down it and it ripped my pants. It ripped a big hole and it cut through my skin and it was bleeding. And the, I, like, it was a whole ordeal. It was very embarrassing. Uh, I was bleeding from my butt. I had a big hole in my butt. Luckily enough, I had extra pants in my locker. So shout out to me back then to having extra pants. But that was a very embarrassing day. I couldn't work out for a week because um, they were scared that I was gonna get affected and it hurt. It hurt because it was like, a, it was like on, on God, it was probably like that long. And <laughs> from like my butt to like the bottom of my knee. And it, it was so embarrassing. Yeah, that, that's my most embarrassing story. So, yo, well, fact number 13. So this is probably one of my favorite moments or favorite memory from high school, other than graduating, because graduating, I was, that was, that was, I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised I graduated, but yeah, that was, that was probably like my, my top moments of high school. But I would say other than me graduating, another top moment in high school was always like the sports games. Like, yes, if y'all know about the loop, back when I went, we weren't the best football team, but we still had fun. I always remember like with the with the boys, you know what I'm saying, with the team, we always had so much fun. Just like, you know, talking shit, all that stuff. You know, you know how football players are. And like, I, I, that was probably my favorite moments of high school with the football team or the lacrosse team. Cause when we went to go uh, like on the bus to the away games, those were the best moments. We would, we would be going crazy. Like I remember um, one example, of this, this was on the lacrosse team. Um, this is when Murder On My Mind by YNW Melody came out. We blasted that on a speaker. And the bus driver just looked at us like we were crazy, but that was those were probably my favorite two moments in high school. Probably the graduation and you know the hanging with the boys. You know, fact number fourteen. This is going to be my biggest risk I've ever done, and my the biggest risk I've ever done like to, in my lifetime. And it probably is me dropping out of college. Me just choosing to do this is a big risk, but I knew that if I didn't do it, I would 
later in my life, I'll be upset myself. I'll, it's, it would be like that. What of, like, what if, could have, I could have had done this. Or, you know, you know, like, I just didn't want to live it with regret. So I knew in my mind I had to do it. And I'm taking a big risk for a big reward. So we are going to see what's going to happen. You know, I'm bringing you along on my journey. But yeah, but yeah, hopefully this big risk can lead to a big reward. And I, I feel it. I, I got big dreams, big goals, and I'm going to be able to achieve them. So I'm bringing you along with my journey. Fact number 15, my favorite hood child memory was probably just hanging out with my neighborhood friends. It was me, Zach, Burrell, Prashant, Gotham, Jungwoo. You know, it was always us hanging out. We played football together like basically every other day. We played basketball. Like, I grew up with these boys. We used to have sleepovers like every other night during summers and stuff. So like, those are probably my favorite memories. Some of my closest friends. Some friends I'll probably keep for a long time. But... Yeah, that was probably my favorite childhood memory. Fact number 16, my dream job is just be a content creator. Whether it's on YouTube, it, it's most likely going to be on YouTube. But my, my dream job is to be probably a YouTuber, you know, just be able to entertain people because that's always been my dream. I've always loved to entertain people, make people laugh and smile because I, I just want to spread happiness and stuff because there's just so much sadness and negativity in this world that I want to do my part or whatever and just spread happiness, make people laugh and smile, you know. That's what, that's what I want to do. That's my dream job. And hopefully, with me going to YouTube, that can lead me into acting. Because, you know what I'm saying? I could act a little bit. But that's my dream. That's my dream job. Being a YouTuber and maybe an actor. Number 17. So these are two things that I'm very scared of. I am terrified of snakes. I do not fuck with snakes. I hate those. Those are probably the one animals that I dislike. I hate snakes so much. Like, when I was a kid, I remember... We, it was like when I was a kindergarten. We went to this zoo... Or whatever field trip and there was a big anaconda and everyone was like oh you touch it touch it touch it i don't know if it was an anaconda but it was a snake but it was like, oh touch everyone touched the snake with me the guy was like you sure i was like yeah i'm sure get that snake away it, it, that, you see how tiny i was i was like a little kid he would have swallowed me whole i said fuck no i don't like snakes i hate snakes those are probably my biggest fears and i hate heights i'm terrified of the heights like i like I'm scared of roller coasters. I've been. I'm be. I'm be honest. I. I don't think I've been on like a legit roller coaster. I'm terrified of heights. I don't like roller coasters. What else? I. Don't, I, I don't do heights. I don't like heights. Number eighteen. So as a child, I looked up to a lot of Asian influencers. For example, I looked up to Jeremy Lin. I looked up to Ryan Higa. He used to do YouTube videos and stuff like that. And I. I of course, I looked up to Jackie Chan. Fun fact, I was actually named after Jackie Chan. My dad liked the name and he wanted to change it up. He just took the IE and put a Y. So I was named after Jackie Chan, but just spiked it up a little bit. But yeah, those are the three guys that I really looked up to because growing up, there was, there was not a lot of Asian figures to look up to and there still isn't. And that's the low key I'm trying to be. I want to become an Asian influencer so I could influence kids, you know? So that's the dream too. I, I have a lot of big dreams, you know what I'm saying? I'm a big dreamer. So the one thing that I cannot live without is going to be YouTube. YouTube has been there for me since, I would probably even say like 7th or 8th grade. And it's probably going to be there with me for a long time. I've been watching videos for a long time. I've been making videos for a long time. This is the, for, like, for the first time in a very, very long time. This is the first time I've been consistent in uploading every single Friday or every single week. And I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay true because this is my dream, and I need to make my dream a reality. Well, I get. To, I'm gonna upload videos every single Friday, so stay tuned because I'm on the grind. And lastly, fact number twenty. I am a huge dreamer, like I've been saying, and I have big dreams. And in the past, people have been calling me a dreamer. Oh, you not realistic. You just a dreamer. For fact number twenty, I'm trying to make my dreams a reality. Everything that I'm doing is trying to make my dreams a reality. I have big dreams, like I've stated in the previous facts or whatever my my biggest dream is to get youtube famous and you know just make my have my name out there i want to be a nobody and become a somebody you know what i mean i'm not saying i grew up from nothing but i'm saying i'm a nobody from duluth georgia i want to show people that you can be a nobody from wherever you're from to become a somebody and i just have big dreams um make my dreams a reality and also like like i said about the asian influence there's not that many asian influencers and i would i would love to be one of them asian influencers that's my dream and yeah also I would like I would say like I'm not the typical Asian looking guy most people when they think of an Asian guy they think of a k-pop star think of they think of a little skinny dude with a fucking middle part long hair dyed hair whatever 
like I'm not the typical dude. I'm taller. I'm six one. I'm bigger. I'm like two forty. You know, like I'm different. I want to show people that it's okay to be different. So with all that being said, that is going to conclude the video. So if you enjoyed this video so far, please go down, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And you know, stay tuned because I'm grinding. And if y'all want to see any kind of videos, let me know down below in the comments. I will do them for you. I like to make content for y'all. With everything being said, I hope y'all got to know me a little better. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Subscribe, share, I'm out.